approach? Well, it goes without saying uh, you know, how proud I am of our team. Uh, we came off a really uh, tough game to swallow on Saturday uh, against Xavier, uh, you know, where we squandered a 17-point halftime lead that was gone in a blink of an eye. And, and uh, in some ways, today was similar. Um, baskets were obviously hard to come by uh, because of how physical and, and disciplined they are defensively. Uh, and then we lost Paul Brenner. You know, we went with the lineup that we haven't hardly used this year. And, uh, you know, we got a couple really good bounces on a couple three-point shots. And sometimes to beat a team as good as UConn, you need a little good fortune as well. And like I told the guys, just these guys have continued to work. They've continued to believe uh, we're a young team in a very old league. And uh, we've continued to fight. And I think if you do that, once in a while, good fortune is going to shine its face on you. And that was certainly the case tonight. But uh, really proud of our team, mostly because of the respect I have for the UConn program and how Danny goes about it. Um, that, you know, they're, they're physical, they're disciplined, they're hard-nosed, and, uh, you know, we fought them tooth and nail on the glass with a you know, pretty small lineup out there. Questions for either gentleman? Um, after such tough losses when you were ahead, it's, it's really good things by a lot of this. Um, did you say something to your team about, you know, <coughs> Yeah, we talked at halftime about, you know, the second half is going to be for the people that don't believe we can finish something. Uh, and, you know, it's with youth and, and inexperience. And, you know, obviously Hawk Grinds a, is an older player, but he's playing the role on this team for the first time. Uh, you know, Alex O'Connell's playing a role he's never played before. So even our veteran players are playing new roles, and they're growing in those roles as the season goes on. But, you know, you saw some freshmen grow up. You know, Nemhard having to bring the ball up and Trey against, you know, RJ's pressure, uh, you know, two freshmen to, to get us into some offense. Uh, and then I thought the job that, you know, Kalk Brenner and, and Keyshawn and, and Arthur Kaluma did on, on Sunogo uh, was really good. You know, he goes three for ten and, and, you know, we made Tyler's life pretty tough on the perimeter, didn't give him a lot of clean looks. Uh, and we took our chances with Whaley, and you know he made us pay to a certain extent. But I, I'd, I'd like to think that what we were able to take away with that strategy uh, probably gave us more than you know what they got out of it. Could you just four and zero against them now in the Big East? Is there something about your style of play? Or what you ah, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, we had really all four games have been like this, uh, where they could have gone either way the last three or four minutes. I mean, the, the game in the Big East tournament last year in the semi was as physical game. As I've ever been part of, and uh, was one reason we didn't have much left in the tank the next night to play Georgetown. So, uh, you know, I, I don't think there's anything to that. We, you know, we we had some good fortune tonight, but we played our tails off, and I think you have to play hard uh, because UConn plays so hard. Uh, and then, like I said, we had a, you know the three at halftime, and then he threw one in, up, hit the top of the backboard. And to beat a good team, sometimes you need a little luck. How's that defensive effort over the last seven? I think you held them about a field goal until from 7 to 15 to 5 seconds left. It's pretty good, especially when you consider, you know, you know, our defense is really designed to kind of funnel everything to Kalkbrenner. And and uh, without him in there, I, I just thought Arthur Kaluma did a really good job. And, and, and Hawk, uh, you know, when he got switched on to Sunogo, and his, his intelligence to know when to help and when to get back to Whaley after he'd hit a couple was really good late. And, you know, sometimes a guy will shoot those threes uh, in the middle of the game, in the guts of the game when it's being decided, and that's not what you do all the time, you're not quite as comfortable doing that. Uh, but, uh, you know, really proud of the way our guys defended. Uh, really, for the whole, whole night, they had 55 points and 64 possessions, which is that's really good defense on somebody else's floor, especially a team as good as UConn. How is uh, Ryan doing? Uh, it's sore. I mean, he rolled it pretty good. Um, you know, we, we're staying out. And, we have another game, uh, important game against Seton Hall on Friday, and we'll get him some rest and some treatment, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can have him back. Brian, when you hit that shot at the end of the first half, was that kind of when you knew that things were going your way this uh, this game? Uh, I think it's a lot, uh, basketball is kind of like a law of averages. I missed probably my first or ten before that. Got kind of lucky with one, but kind of got me going a little bit offensively. Um, before half, wild stuff happens. Just think, put one in. Can you talk about what this does for the team's confidence after those couple of losses where you were leaving by some of points? You know, I think Saturday was uh, you know, obviously it wasn't a good thing for us. Um, 
but I think our, long, our young guys learned a lot from each other and about themselves. Uh, and we made it really, uh, kind of made it a staple in the locker room at halftime that we were not letting that happen again. We were taking the pride up, up, upon ourselves to make sure that same result didn't happen. And we said, well, whatever happens offensively, who cares? Defensively, we can control what we do. And I felt like we did a great job, like Coach said, against a really experienced and a really good UConn team down the stretch of the game. So this is your team, I think it's your third win against the top 25 team this year, um, and you've had some, some tough losses. So how do you how do you become that team that, that beats the top 25 teams and not the other team? And what does this do for your confidence with that? Uh, I think Coach mentioned it earlier. Our young kids have to kind of be thrown into the fire and learn as they go. Um, Ryan Nemhard and Trey did a great job handling pressure today. Alex O'Connell did a great job of making stuff happen without having to shoot the ball. Uh, Arthur Kaluma, like Coach said, defensively was huge for us. And so it's just trusting each other and trusting what we've been doing all season long. Um, and obviously learning from the mistakes that we've made in the past that will ultimately get this team to where I think it can go. Yeah, and I'll add to that question is, you know, we lost a really good Xavier team. <laughs> you know, that's a that's a that's a second weekend NCAA tournament type team, just like this UConn team is. Uh, and you know, we lost at Butler, but we've gone over there with teams that have been ranked in the top ten and lost at Butler. So uh, I just think in this league, you know, every I think every fan base wants to hit the panic button when you lose a game or two. Like this league is hard. You know, we have five teams in the top twenty-five and a couple more that. You know, like us, that feel like if we can finish, we can make the NCAA tournament. It's a hard, hard league, and you you better appreciate and enjoy the wins when they come because they're they are not easy to come by in this conference. Any additional questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.